All right, guys, I'm in the shop today modifying my headphones. I wanted to convert my Shure headphones into Bluetooth. And uh, I've got a little Bluetooth uh, adapter that'll couple up with my phone. And uh, these headphones have a, a removable cable attachment. So I wanted to replace the long curly cord with a short one that I can just uh, attach the uh, Bluetooth adapter to the top of this and it'd be made more portable. But it uh, looks like the end of this cable has got a kind of a handy little feature on it that lets it uh, lock in to the headphones. Like it's got a little uh, flat that goes up and uh, you turn it and it locks it in place. So I gotta try to machine that on my little cable. So I uh, fixtured it up in a little collet here. And it's not the most rigid setup I've ever had, but uh, I think that might work. So we're gonna come down and we're gonna machine the outside with an end mill. And then I've got a couple little key seat cutters that'll go in there and uh, machine the little groove and the undercuts. All right, so let's try this. Okay, it looks like that worked all right. I've got my Z slowed down quite a bit to feed down in the Z axis just because uh, there's no way in flash cut to um, change your rapid feed rates. So normally when I crash, it's in the Z and I'm coming down and hitting the part. So until they can uh, give me some kind of override for, uh, for rapids, I have to manually slow my Z feeds down. Okay, so next will be the flats.
Okay, so let's see how we did. That looks right. You can see that's the best I could do with the fixed ring I had. It uh, had to feed it real slow with a nice sharp tool. Let's take it off and see if it fits. Alright, based on uh, the one on the right is the factory one. And the one on the left is the one I just modified, so I, I think we might have it. Alright, there we go. Fits in, turns, and locks. I think I got it. Alright, talk to you later. Okay, so this is the finished uh, headset. So I just got a little 12 inch uh, cable that connects the two millimeter mic jack that goes into the headphone and that runs up to the connection for the Bluetooth uh, receiver uh, which had the three millimeter uh, micro headphone adapter so that's it so my phone connects to the to this wirelessly and uh, runs the signal into the headphones and this battery that's in here uh, you charge it with the uh, just a USB connection and a few times I've used it so far it lasts maybe four hours uh, unless uh, I guess if I had the volume a lot higher it wouldn't last that long but that's pretty good very acceptable so uh, I like it so talk to you later